Today we'll be taking a look at how to fix the instruction at 0x0007FF referenced memory error in Windows. Here is a comprehensive guide to troubleshooting and fixing the instruction at 0x0007FF refrained memory error. If you have any computer or software related issue, please feel free to submit your problem on our website or comment down below and we will make a solution video for you to resolve it. Step 1. Restart your computer. Sometimes the simplest solution are the most effective. Restarting your computer can resolve the refrain memory error and any software conflict. Method 2. Run SFC and DISM scan. Corrupted system files can lead to the referenced memory error. Running SFC and DISM scan can help repair these files. Step 1. Open start and search for command prompt and run it as administrator. Type the following command to perform a quick fix on your PC. The DISM and SFC commands are used for scanning your PC and automatically installing broken or missing Windows files on your PC. Be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Method 3. Check disk for errors. The problem instruction at 0x0007FF referenced memory may occur if there is any mistakes on your computer hard disk. You may resolve by running chk dsk on the command prompt. Open start, search for command prompt, right click and run it as administrator. Type the following command chk dsk slash f slash c. Press y when prompted to schedule disk check on the next restart. Restart your PC. The disk check will automatically run on the startup and check for any issues with the disk. If any issues are found, they will be fixed automatically. Method 4. Disable the automatically hide taskbar feature. Sometimes hiding the taskbar can cause the, the referenced memory error. Right click on the taskbar settings, toggle to the automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode option. Method 5. Perform a clean boot. The instruction at 0x0007FF referenced memory problem in Windows 11 can be fixed by doing a clean boot. Press Windows plus R to open the run dialog box. Type ms config and press enter to open system configuration. Go to the services tab. Check for the box that says hide all Microsoft service. Click on disable all button. Next, go to the startup tab and click on open task manager. In the task manager window, disable all the startup programs by right clicking on each entry and selecting disable. Close the task manager and go to the system configuration window. Click OK and restart your PC. Method 6. Ensure you have the latest .NET framework installed on your PC. Go to the official Microsoft.NET downloads page. The link will be provided in the description. Download and install the latest version and restart your computer. Method 7. Allocate more virtual memory. Increasing virtual memory can help improve system performance and fixing the reference memory issue. Press Windows plus R, type sysdm.cpl and press enter. Go to the advanced tab and click on settings under performance. Go to the advanced tab again and click on change under virtual memory. Uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drivers. Select the drive and select initial and maximum size to the recommended values. Click on OK. Method 8. Run Startup Repair. Startup Repair is a built-in Windows tool designed to fix the instruction at 0x0007FF referenced memory issue, preventing your computer from starting currently. Boot your computer from Windows installation media, USB drive or DVD. Select the language and keyboard layout then click on repair your computer, choose troubleshoot, advanced option, startup repair. Follow the on screen instructions to let Windows diagnose and repair the startup issues. Method 9. Perform a memory diagnostic check. Checking your RAM for instruction at 0x0007FF referenced memory error can help identify hardware issues. Press the Windows key on your keyboard, type Windows memory diagnostics. In the Windows Memory Diagnostic window, you will see two options. Choose the option that best suits your need. If you choose to restart now, check for problems, your computer will immediately reboot and begin memory diagnostic process. If you choose to check problems, the next time you start your computer, the memory diagnostic will run the next time you boot up. During the memory diagnostic process, your computer will perform several tests on your RAM to check for any errors. This may take some time depending on the amount of RAM installed on your system. 
once memory diagnostic is complete your computer will automatically restart and results of the memory test will be displayed method 10 scan for malware malware and viruses can cause the instruction to 0x 0007 ff referenced memory error conduct a complete computer scan using an authorized antivirus or anti-malware tool to check for issues make sure your antivirus software is up to date type window security in the search bar in the window security window click on virus and threat protection under current threat click on quick scan to perform a basic scan for a more comprehensive scan choose the full scan option follow the full screen instruction to complete the scan if any threats are detected, Windows Defender will provide options to remove or quarantine them. Method 11. Perform System Restore If the instruction of at the instruction at 0x0007FF referred memory problem starts recently using a system restore feature to revert to a point when the display resolution was functioning correctly can be an effective solution. Press Windows plus S and type system restore in the search bar. Select the create a restore point. Click on system restore under system protection tab. If you have previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, the computer will display a recommended date for restoration. Then click on finish to complete the process. The finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will reboot. Method 12. Reset the PC. If none of the solution resolve the issue and Windows security refuse to open, you can consider performing a Windows reset. Press Windows plus I to open Windows setting. Click on system from the left hand menu. Scroll down and select the recovery option. Under recovery, click on reset PC. Choose from keep my files and remove everything according to your preferences. Then follow the guidelines on the screen to complete the resetting process. Method 13. Repair the .NET framework on Windows. Many apps require the .NET framework to function. If it's tainted, it can cause issues like reference memory and also other problem. Visit the page for Microsoft.NET Framework Repair Tool. Link will be provided in the description. Navigate to the section with the information to download. Next, download the executable file by clicking on Microsoft.NET Frame Repair Tool link. To launch the repair utility, double click on the NetFX Repair Tool .exe after it has been downloaded. When prompted by user account control, click yes. After agreeing to the term, click next. To determine the problem, the next repair tool will run through few tests. When finished, it will suggest few adjustments. Click next to make changes effective after reading the description. To end the repair tool, click next and finish after completion. Method 14. Resolve software and driver conflict. Ensure all your software and drivers are up to date. Check for software update through each application's update mechanism, update driver from the device manager or from the manufacturer's website. Method 16. Uninstall the recent Windows update. It's likely that a recent Windows update ca is causing the referenced memory issue. Uninstalling the update might help. Go to Windows settings, click on Windows update from the left hand menu and select uninstall update. Method 17. Try Windows update. Updating your Windows operating system can help resolve the referenced memory issue. Press Windows plus I to open Windows security. Click on Windows update in the left hand menu. Click on check for update and let Windows search and install any available updates. After the updates are installed, restart your computer and check if the issue persists. Method 18. Reinstalling Windows. Reinstalling Windows can help resolve the instruction to 0x0007 reference memory issue. Restart your computer after inserting an installation disk. When the computer boots into BIOS, Press a certain key F2 or F11 to change the boot order so the computer boots from my installation disk. When the page has loaded, click on install now then proceed as directed to finish the procedure. Method 19. Update graphics driver. One of the most common reasons for screen issues including the instruct 0x0007FF reference memory is outdated or incompatible graphics driver. Press Windows plus R to open the run box. Type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open device manager. In the device manager window, expand the display driver section. It will list all the integrated and dedicated graphics driver installed on your computer. Do the following for all your drivers. Right click on the display driver and choose uninstall driver. Check the delete the driver software from this device option if it pops up. Go to the top menu of the device driver under action tab and select scan for hardware changes. 
the driver should appear back in the display driver list if it does not restart your pc and it will appear back method 20 boot into safe mode if your windows 11 computer is still stuck in the instruction at 0x0007 ff reference memory issue then a third party app might be to blame as a result we advise you to start your computer in the safe mode press windows plus i together to open windows security choose system from the left panel and head over to recovery option on the right side of the window click on restart now button associated with advanced setup Head over to troubleshoot advanced option in the next window, choose startup settings in the volume window plus 4 to launch the safe mode. Once the PC boots into safe mode successfully, try checking if the problem is resolved. So this is it for the video. If this video fixes your issue, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if the issue still persists, then comment down below and we will make a solution for you to resolve it.